All right, guys, today's video is going to be how to install Codename Android on your Droid Bionic. So right here, I'm on stock. A couple prerequisites you're going to need. Um, make sure that you have root and you have super user or super suit installed like this. And then the other thing is you want to make sure you have Safe Strap 3 installed and your Droid Bionic is running the latest uh, OTA which is Ice Cream Sandwich uh, 2.246. Um, you actually could be running any of the Ice Cream Sandwich leaks if you want. This is already installed. So since I have all those prerequisites already met, we're going to go ahead and reboot the device by powering it off and then powering it back on. Um, when I power it back on, Safe Strap is going to open up and we will enter safe strap and I will show you how to install codename Android um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you already download the uh, ROM and ROM zip and the GGAP zip and make sure they're on your SD card so on that screen you just wanna hit your menu button down here at the bottom by my thumb and it will now launch Safe Strap 3, which is based off of a twerp recovery. Uh, recommend your stock ROM to go ahead and do a backup. So you'd hit backup and then you'd swipe it. I've already done that. So we're going to go to how go into boot options now because we're on stock. And we're going to activate ROM slot 1. And we're going to give it 1 gig of data partition. That has to do with how much space you have for apps and things like that. Um, you can go up to 3 gigs however you want depending on how much room you have on your SD card. I have about 8 gigs right now. This is going to take up about 2 for creating this ROM slot. So then you're just going to hit create. This is going to take about 4 minutes. I'm going to pause it. We'll come back and then we'll get into uh, naming our ROM slot and going from there. So hold up. Alright, so uh, ROM slot has been created. You can see up here in the top now it says ROM slot slot one instead of ROM slot stock so that is changed so we're gonna actually click on it and then we're going to uh, set nickname so we're gonna go back here and go to we're gonna call this ROM and then we're gonna call it code name Android CNA hit go alright so now ROM slot is called that um, and it is our active ROM slot because it's in green and it says ROM slot 1 up here so we can go back so now anything we do on our device is going to be done to that ROM slot not to our stock operating system we'll always be able to go back to it by just switching in boot options really easily so we're gonna go to uh, installs actually you know let's go back we're gonna go to wipes we're gonna wipe cache just really quick you shouldn't need to because it's the first time you created it wipe Delvic and then we'll go back and we'll go to installs and you're gonna to want to scroll and find uh, let's see here find where you have your ROMs installed I don't I think I actually have to go back to find them yeah so up here you can go up a level then you can scroll down to SD card extension which is where mine should be at if I hit the right button Um, let's see here. Here we go. Jelly Bean ROMs. So right here is uh, stock Jelly Bean, codename Android, Tegra. So we're going to hit that one. Make sure it still says it so you hit the right thing. That's correct. And then we're going to confirm by swiping it. So that's going to flash. Um, so this is going to install codename Android on slot, rom slot 1 of uh, Safe Strap. Um, and then next we're going to uh, flash our G gaps. So Codename Android shouldn't take too long to flash. Uh, should be pretty easy. So just give it a sec here and we'll maybe pause if it's going to take too long. So I'll pause here a sec. Alright, well actually that didn't take too long. So we're just going to hit the back button right there. And then we're going to find the G gaps, which the latest G gaps are 2012, 10, 11. And they're signed and they're jelly bean. So hit those, make sure it still says it there, which it does. And then we're going to go ahead and flash those. Um, the ROM here 
and uh, Codename Android ROM, which is for Targa, which is the Droid Bionic, and the GCAPS. I will put a link to those both in the description of this video so you can find them there. Uh, also, I'll put links to how to root the Droid Bionic along with um, how to install Safe Strap and all those kind of things so you guys can catch up on that if you haven't done it already. Uh, so, we've done all those things. We flashed our ROM, we flashed our GAPS. So all we have to do now is reboot, and since we're on ROM slot 1, it's going to reboot with whatever's in ROM slot run, which is our new ROM. So hit reboot there, um, and it should reboot the device. Uh, we'll see what our boot animation is. I'm going to skip through my setup, and I'll try to show you any features that it has, and see what's working and what's not. So we'll just let this load, and we will get back to it. Oh, right, quick. Also, you can see now safe strap is enabled. It is now green instead of red. So it just means that you have a ROM slot active. And you can enter safe strap right there if you wanted to also. But you don't have to. You can just leave it and it'll skip right past it. Let's see what our boot animation is really quick. And then we'll get into it. I just love seeing the new boot animations. Alright, so this is just classic stock droid boot animation. Um, which is cool. So we'll just let this load and I'll come back to you. Alright, we have uh, booted up Codename Android. I've gone through a couple little setup things. Uh, so let's get into a couple of the things with this thing, how it works. Um, here's your pull down. I don't see any toggles on there right now. Um, but you can get into settings. And we can go to interface. And there is a lot of different uh, things here. So let's go to status bar. Um, so let's see what we can have on here. Battery style. Battery bar location, battery bar style. Um, so we got some things there, battery bar location. Let's go top nav bar. Um, battery icon style. Go circle, or not so, let's see here, circle. Circle. So you can change that up there in the top. Um, looks like there's some different clock things you can do. Clock style, center clock. Move that around a little bit. Um, so there's a lot of settings underneath there. Let's go to power menu options. So you have some options here for when you hit the power button, which like your uh, screenshots and things like that. We're going to put that on there. Um, notification toggles. Okay, so here's all your notification toggles right now. You can see there are, aren't any in there. So we're going to hit this and we're going to pick some. So let's do Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, and silence GPS let's just say all right so toggle order that's fine some other options in there also so let's see if now we have toggles there you go so there's some toggles in it so that's how you can add toggles to it, it looks like there's some hardware key buttons you can do custom so some uh, different long press features and things like that you can do on here if you want to enable those. Um, you got that, you got display settings. Um, so there, there's just a lot of uh, customization here. You can change colors of different things. Uh, see what's in our general. LCD density if you want to change that. Choose notification background. Put a picture back there for the background on this right here. So, uh, very much customizable. Um, some pretty cool things there. You got your performance here. You got startup tweaks. Um, zip align, SD boost, which I like to do that normally. And then uh, that's the value I want, so I'm going to leave that like it is. Um, you can do zip line if you want. Let's see what else we have here. Kernel controls, which is pretty cool. ZRAM, USB fast charge. You can enable any of those kind of things if you want. Um, let's see what we have, uh, processor speeds, here we're at uh, 1.2 gigahertz or 1200 megahertz, and you can adjust and play with that, min maxes, you can set your governors, um, so like I said there's just a lot of customization in here, I do want to get down here to about phone and show you that this is Jelly Bean, which is Android uh, 4.1.2 running on this droid bionic so um so far playing with it the only thing i don't like is this your camera camera is not working on codename android 
which is really a kind of a big bummer. Um, you might be able to install like ice cream sandwich camera, uh, ice cream sandwich camera from the market. Sometimes I find that that actually makes it work. Uh, so look into that yourself. Um, but anyway, other than that, um, there's your app drawer, widgets. Uh, it is very, very fast, very, very stable from what I'm seeing. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty fun. Lots and lots of modifications you can do for options and the way you want it to look like you want it to look, which I love that stuff. So there it is, guys. That is how to install um, Codename Android, which is Jelly Bean based, onto your Droid Bionic using Safe Strap. So last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot and go back to stock just to show you how to do it and it's very easy so just hold on a sec here we're going to reboot reboot and actually I think you can hit reboot recovery in this which is really nice and it'll actually you won't have to touch anything and it'll just boot back into um, boot back into safe strap without even hitting the menu button so let's just see if it does that which it should come on Sometimes it takes a little second here and just give it some time. There you go. See, you can even reboot into recovery, which is an awesome feature I really like. So to go back to stock, you just go to your boot menu and you hit stock ROM and you hit active. Bam, now it says up here ROM slot stock. Then you can go back and reboot and reboot system and you are going to boot back up into your stock ROM and uh, you'll be right back to it nothing will change everything will be exactly how you had it before you went and went into uh, codename Android so very simple very easy to switch between ROMs you can see now we're in safe straps disabled because we're running stock and that's it guys that is the uh, how to install codename Android a little bit more how to use safe strap 3 and uh, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.